I think it's a little ironic that the people who seem to be defending Hamas online are also the ones they'd be most likely to kill. Oh no, no, I'm sure the Islamic terrorists would love you, queer intellectual feminist. We're freedom fighters. They're fighting for their land and I'm fighting for my right to purple hair. What the fuck? It's like a girl in a really toxic relationship. I know you don't like him because he kidnaps and murders people, but trust me, when I'm alone with him, he is such a sweetheart. I'm sorry, if your reaction to people being slaughtered, beheaded, raped, and burned alive isn't complete and utter disgust and horror, if your reaction is, yeah, but I mean, why? See it from their perspective. You need to get your fucking head checked, okay? I'm sure Jeffrey Dahmer had a rough childhood. That doesn't mean I empathize with him. If you want a free Palestine, free Palestine from Hamas. To all the woke 20-somethings who don't actually give a shit about anyone but themselves, I gained 12,000 Instagram followers overnight, and all I had to do was say that Hamas terrorism is wrong. I think it's a little ironic that the same people who are obsessed with triggering language and microaggressions and inappropriate eye contact could be sharing articles like, mm, I know that the babies were murdered, but how many of them were really beheaded? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to mischaracterize the way the terrorists would murder the babies. What an awful Zionist conspiracy. But hey, I'm a cis-privileged white man. Who am I to say that burning people alive, slaughtering babies, gang-raping women, and killing innocent civilians is wrong? Because apparently, that's as deep as your intellect and your humanity can go. Basic, shallow, virtue signaling. So get those followers, babe. Use the hashtag, Free Palestine from Hamas. Ugh. Terrorism. Talk about boomer cringe.